Hey there, this is the one boom, and today's video is going to be pretty short and simple. While looking over my Modern Warfare gameplay, I've noticed that I'm not really playing that well. At least I'm not playing very smart. I'm usually towards the top of the leaderboard and I'm being a help, but I'm not getting good streaks anymore. And I wanted to sort of talk about why I think this is happening. I hope you guys don't see this video as an excuse, but more so as sort of a deep dive into my own shortcomings. Which, you know, the first step to fixing a problem is admitting there is one. So I thought I'd talk about this. In my gameplay, I'm not playing very smart. I'm not playing passively enough. And I think there's two reasons for this. A while back, I talked about sort of the content creator problem when playing Call of Duty, whether for a video or on live stream, where it's so discouraged to be a smart player that takes their time and waits for an enemy here and then pushes an enemy here. You always just want to be going fast and be as entertaining as possible. The fear of being judged for slow or boring gameplay is sort of in the back of my mind a lot. I've heard other YouTubers say this as well. I remember Drifter talking about this years ago when he talked about the fact that Call of Duty players love watching quick draw 50-50 engagements that are very rapid and fast. And so he felt like an idiot if he ever like slowed down, held an angle, or just sort of took the more patient option, the more methodical option. And I know a lot of the times that I lose gunfights, it's not because I'm being pushed while well, that does happen. I think a lot of the times it's just the nature of I'm pushing too much. I'm walking into traps, I'm staying out in the open, and I'm being allergic to cover, something I criticize teammates for being all of the time. I've said before, don't be allergic to cover, make sure you have an exit route and make sure you play to the map strengths and to your own strengths. So don't go out in the open, stand there and try to get a kill. I don't care if the map is three lane, super complicated, continent sized, I don't care. Whatever it is, it really pays to use cover, have exit routes, and just overall be the smarter player on the field. So I think that's part of it. I sort of judge my gameplay a little too harshly while it's happening, which is just a really bad thing to do. Instead of worrying about beating my opponents, I'm worried about what it looks like while I do. So I'm working on that. Not my, not my fault, not your guys' fault. It's literally just something I have to work through. Whatever. Performance anxiety exists in all facets of life. If it didn't, I'd probably have to go see a doctor. But anyway, the other problem I have is Modern Warfare in general. You guys remember back in Black Ops 4 where I said I got tired of trying because of the nature of standard modes with the way specialists were set up? It was very frustrating to try to do well and go on long streaks. Staying alive was a lot harder to do for me in Black Ops 4 because I could be going on a long kill streak and be all fine and good and then mesh mine, and then K9 unit, and then Ajax's shield. Then I fight somebody that has a health boost, and then I get, I don't know, annihilated, gravity spiked, grenade launcher, whatever it might be. It felt kind of pointless to try to go on a long streak where somebody could get up behind me and then not have to actually put the bullets into me to kill me, which is actually something I can react to in that game because the time to kill is a little bit longer. No, I mean, of course, just gravity spike me, annihilate me, war machine me, tempest me, and then kill my buddy for walking in to try to save me because the Tempest arcs from player to player. You see the problem? Modern Warfare doesn't have half of the bullshit that Black Ops 4 did, in my opinion. I think that the sort of abusable freedom of Modern Warfare is far less irritating to me than specialists and rig abilities from Call of Duty's recent past. But Modern Warfare has one big problem. I don't feel rewarded for going on streaks. Getting a chopper gunner, getting white phosphorus, most of the time feels like a five kill streak when it should feel like a 10 kill streak. And in Modern Warfare, where people can head glitch cover and kill you in three shots with an assault rifle, so you're just dying in like 200 milliseconds, you know, it's really hard to go on long streaks, especially when fighting really, really good players. You have very, very small margins for error. You have almost no room to mess up. And I'm okay with that, it's a fast TTK shooter. And I can utilize the map to you know, take cover, hold angles, be smart, have exit routes, so that way I can push enemies effectively and then retreat back and stay alive. It's just that even the highest streak, the Juggernaut, is so easy to cheese. So many people that I've seen get the Juggernaut, they get it, they get a handful of kills, and then they just get thermited to death. You call in a support helo, it's down before it even gets a kill. Fighting a good team, the VTOL is the same way. After its initial rocket strike, which is sort of unavoidable if you're out in the open, it'll just hit you, you can't stop it. But 
The problem is, those rockets are random. And the other problem is, I sometimes get VTOLs that get like 15 kills, it feels like, and other times I get VTOLs that don't even get to fire a shot before it's shot down by RPGs and LMGs. If you guys watch my video about my anger in Modern Warfare, I was talking about terrible teammates while showing footage of a Ramaza game where I felt like the entire world was on my shoulders. That match made me look like an absolute chump, but it was a well-fought victory but during that game, I played smart enough against these very sweaty players with, again, pretty much zero team support throughout the gameplay. If you go watch it, I do pretty much everything on my own with the help of my buddy. And he kind of got stomped too, but admittedly, it was a rough game. Anyway, throughout that game, I was able to get some kill streaks, and one of them was the illustrious Chopper Gunner. And unfortunately, I was shot down very, very quickly. I couldn't even tell I was getting hit, but apparently I was. I heard that I was, and then when I was looking for the person who was shooting me, I was already down. The streaks don't have enough health. Therefore, why play smart to get them? All they do is distract the enemies for a little bit. Seriously, a Chopper Gunner can't last if at least one good player who's a little bit concealed has a suppressed FMJ LMG, they can just shoot you down. Like, you're toast at that point. And if there's two people doing it, then say goodbye twice as fast. Now, going for specialist, in my opinion, is kind of pointless unless I'm going for a nuke. My kills after I get specialist bonus might be a little bit easier to get, but I'm not working towards anything. Vehicles and weapons that I can use to kill my opponents, that's a lot of fun. Being overpowered so I can win more gunfights, eh, I don't know. I'm likely not gonna get a nuke. Most of the games I've been playing recently are very, very sweaty, and while occasionally I get a potato lobby, I don't know. Running specialist just isn't my jam, and my big encouragement in Call of Duty games to do well is because I really like calling in streaks, powerful streaks. And they don't have to be overpowered, they don't have to be Modern Warfare 2 chopper gunner level. No, I just want them to be viable. Like, for instance, the AGR in Black Ops 2 is similar to the Wilson in Modern Warfare, but the Wilson handles like shit and does very little damage, whereas the AGR was a really formidable little drone. Hailstorm missiles are way better than cruise missiles, lightning strikes are far better than cluster strikes, and one of the big reasons I started getting good at Call of Duty is because I wanted to work towards the higher streaks in games like Black Ops 2. And the gunship in Modern Warfare only matters if there's like an outside hardpoint or enemies are heavily contested like a B flag because most of the time if you get a gunship enemies are just going to run inside in the plethora of buildings that are in this game and the gunship doesn't last in the air long enough for its amount of kills that it takes to get so yeah you could get a gunship and get like three or four kills with it which isn't I guess terrible but in my opinion it's sort of a weak thing to go for none of the streaks feel formidable enough none of the streaks feel like they pack enough punch None of the streaks feel like they were properly designed around the maps either. For instance, the cruise missile always comes in at a weird angle, and it's always hard for me to hit enemies unless, of course, they are dead in the open. So those are the two things I can lock down. I'm overly conscious about how fast or slow my gameplay is while I'm playing, and the carrot that's being dangled in front of me when it comes to kill streaks is so unappealing that I rarely chase it. So I start to have more and more 1KD games. I know I'm capable of more, but I'm self-conscious and not motivated. Maybe this is just a weird feeling and it'll pass and this video is completely pointless, but I kind of want to know if anyone else feels the same way. Now, some of you are going to say I can't go on streaks because of campers or skill-based matchmaking, but for me, I know I can go on streaks in spite of how my enemies are playing. It's just that I find myself just going through the motions. I find myself not reminding myself to play smart because of the two reasons I mentioned in this video. But either way, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think about this whole situation? Am I just making a mountain out of a molehill? I kinda of feel like I am, but I like to get these things off my chest. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.